Let's look at how to create a 3D bottle mock-up using Illustrator, Photoshop, and Dimension. So I have an image of the bottle in the specs. So first we're going to zoom in and draw half of the bottle using the pen tool. Use escape to be done drawing with a pen tool. I'm going to create some border radius by selecting with my white arrow and it should give you a little circle to adjust the border radius. I'm going to draw the inner of the bottle as well. I'm going to use my border radius trick again. And you can spend however much time perfecting yours. Okay, I'm going to call this good. We're going to copy this and open up Photoshop, paste, command V, smart object is fine, and I'm going to enter to place it, and if you don't have your 3D panel open, you can go to 3D, new 3D extrusion from selected layer, and this should open up your 3D panels. Now you can go to shape presets, and if you scroll down, you'll see this rotate around. And it's chosen this axis, which is important. So I've drawn the left side of the container and extruding from this axis. On some other trials earlier today, I was using the left axis and um, it was reversing my decal. So. We'll see later how it looks correct. And on extrusion depth, we're going to change that to zero. And we're going to adjust it slightly. Because you can see at the top here, there's a little bit of a hole. And that's going to cause some issues. OK. That's looking pretty good. Okay, the next thing we want to do, we've got a layer now for our 3D object. Let's go back to Illustrator and I'm going to draw the cap and the cork part for this. And I've already done that to save us a little bit of time. So I'm going to copy each one of these and extrude in Photoshop again. And if you're in your 3D panel, instead of doing 3D, new 3D layer, you can, as long as you're on 3D extrusion, 
You can click create and choose your preset again. Make sure that hole is not there. I'm going to move the cap below the bottle layer and zoom in here so we can align these. Scale this down a little bit more. Okay, let's grab the inner cork piece. And try to center this manually as best you can inside the bottle. This is going by having these as separate pieces. This will allow us to choose some different textures or texture maps. And you can resize these later within Adobe Dimension. Okay, I'm going to adjust this cap a little bit more. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is select all three layers. Actually, I'm going to rename these. And let's go to 3D, merge 3D layers. It may give you a dialog box that's telling you you're going to lose your animations and some other settings, and that's fine. Next, we're going to look at the properties and remove hidden back faces. That will help optimize your file a little bit more. Next, let's do 3D, export 3D layer, and we are going to need an OBJ for dimension. Now if we open up dimension, we'll do file, import, 3D model, or command I. And 
then if you don't see your placed bottle right away, you can hit the F key, which will put it into place. So now we have our different parts of the bottle. So here's our cap. And let's look at materials. And I'm just going to choose a wood looking texture. For the cork, I do have a cork texture and I don't have it as a texture file so I'm going to import that as a decal. Now let's make our glass. And on the glass, while it's still selected, let's import a decal. I have a transparent pink background. And if the 3D object is not completely closed, you may get some strange warping like this. Let's go ahead and try to move the decal with our move tool up here, V, and try to rotate that around until it, it looks correct. Or you can go back into your model and adjust the extrude, extrude layer. Now we can set our environment. And our lighting. If we wanted to adjust anything with this, we can double click. And find which of our layers, like the bottle. Which may need the depth adjusted. You may need to turn off some of your other layers so you can see. If you're ready to render out your image, you can click on render. And choose whether you want a PNG or a PSD. And this will probably take several minutes.
So we're almost at 40 minutes of rendering time. And I've, on my other computer, I went ahead and rendered another um, higher resolution, but still low quality rendering. So you could at least see that drawing the inner part of that glass helped give it the kind of the double wall look. And again, this is it's really hard to render a realistic glass, but continue to play with the lighting and of course spend more time on fine tuning your bottle. While I was waiting on rendering time, I went ahead and created the inner liquid part and created the extrusion. Then I exported it as an OBJ file again, imported it into dimensions, and positioned it. So you can see if I turn off the glass, I've added a red glass texture to the liquid. And I went ahead and rendered that out on my other computer, which is faster. So you can see now it looks like it's got some liquid inside of it.